Alright people, so I'm here with a rant on, on Valentine's Day. Now usually when there's a holiday, I like to make a rant on it. Why? Haha, <laughs> because my name's a Ruthless Ranter. So, uh, I mean on Valentine's Day, you're supposed to get your girl a gift. Well, you know, just out of nowhere, you know, they just come up with this holiday. Oh, let's, you know, make a holiday where guys have to pay money to buy their girl a gift. You know, at least there's holidays like, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, they actually have an origin. They actually have a reason why that's the date. Or they have a reason why they are occurring. Valentine's Day, oh, we're just going to fucking make up a holiday and stick it right here. You know, like, what the fuck? You know, you know like with Christmas, too, you, got, you get the date and you get a reason why. A legitimate reason. With Like, like with Thanksgiving, I mean... It's just a random date, but at least you still have a reason why. I, I believe it's a random date. I don't know if that's when the pilgrims actually had dinner or whatever with the with the Indians or whatever the fuck they're called. But, um, you know, Valentine's Day, it's a random holiday. Let's just stick it right here, you know, for no fucking reason at all. Not a legitimate reason, in my opinion. You know, as, as a girlfriend and boyfriend or wife and husband, you're always supposed to be doing stuff for each other. You're always, that's, what, that's the main part of a relationship, really, is doing things for each other, cooperating, living with each other. So, you know, don't we already have enough holidays where we get our um, significant others, I guess, if you want to call it, gifts? You know, you got fucking Christmas, you got Easter, you got the anniversaries, you got all this other shit. Oh, now, now we got to get... Valentine's Day. I don't fuck. It's just retarded in my opinion. And I think that we live in a world right now where men are supposed to do everything for girls and girls aren't supposed to do anything. And, and, and I get like the, the fact that, you know, in a traditional family, men are supposed to go kind of go to the jobs while women stay home. And I think that's how a family, you know, works good. I, I do believe in the traditional family. And I do think that they are kind of breaking down the family they're trying to to divide us um you know but if you want to be gay if you're gay that's fine but i think they're really kind of pushing the gay agenda right now you know they're kind of saying it's cool to be gay um and again i'm all for government getting out of out of marriage and i don't really have a problem i don't have any problem if you're gay and it's fine if you're naturally gay but i really think they're trying to push people to be gay through, you know, pop culture and shit, and I think it's stupid, you know, I think it's fucking retarded, um, that we kind of, we have this culture right now that's kind of glorifying gay people, and I don't think they should glorify straight or gay people one way or the other, but they're kind of just pushing it, but that's kind of a different topic right there for you, um, but anyway, I mean, Valentine's Day, oh, and if you're fucking two women, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Valentine's Day, the man is supposed to get the gift for the woman. So what if you're two lesbians? <laughs> what do you do there? But, um, yeah, I just think it's retarded, you know, that, that, that they make holidays right out of the blue, you know, to, to, to pay tribute to, uh, you know, not to really pay tribute, but just for your girlfriend. I mean, it's fucking retarded as hell. It makes no sense. It's just a waste of a holiday to spend more money. Um, again, you should always be doing shit for your, for your girlfriend or vice versa. So why do we have to make a holiday just for that specific reason? It's stupid, it's dumb, it's retarded, and it should be, it should not be a holiday. Um, I'm tell I'll tell you what, if I have a fucking girlfriend, you know, I don't want to fucking spend a hundred, two hundred bucks for fucking Valentine's Day. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, that is just, it's stupid. It, it really is. Um... And again, I was, as I was talking about before, we kind of live in a culture right now where the men are supposed to do everything for the girl. You know, hold fucking door. Are you kidding me? Hold a door for, you know, or let the women go first. I mean, it's kind of stupid. Like, let women go first. Like, where did that come out of? What, what, where, where the fuck did that come out of? Why do we have to let women go first? You know, or hold the door for the women. Now, I can understand, you know, if it's a physical task, like cutting the grass, doing landscaping, shoveling snow, something like that. I could understand why the men would do that job. But like a typical thing, like opening a fucking door. Are you kidding me? I don't want to fucking open, you know. You know, who, who, who's ever first should open the door. You know, I'm not going to go out of my way to hold the door open for a woman unless she's hurt or something. Like, it's fucking it's stupid, I think. 
Uh, you know, I think men and women should be equal in this, a lot of aspects. And as I said before, I like the traditional family where the woman is traditionally the cook, traditionally cleans the house, and then the men goes to work, gets a job, s supports the family. They both support the family. They both contribute equally. But I, I just think that's how it kind of works best. You know, it kind of works best. Now you see it right now where you, know, you got the feminist movement bullshit. Uh, and it's really just getting the traditional family is getting fucked up. Um, you know, and not, not, I don't think gays are the main problem. I don't think they're that much of a problem, problem at all. Um, I think the main problem is divorce. One of the main problems is divorce because we see what 50% of relationships end in divorce or marriages end in divorce. That's a real problem right there. And I think that's where the, the, the breaking down of the family is at the core. I think they're trying to push As I said, the gay agenda, they're trying to push that to break the family down more. But the, I think the core of it is kind of at with, with all this divorce, with all this, you know, they're trying to divide us between men and women with the, this war. They declare a war on women now, says Obama. So they're trying to divide us by race, by gender, by sexual orientation, when we should, when we should just all unite. Does it matter if you're gay, straight, bisexual, whatever? No, it doesn't. So we shouldn't be, you know, saying, oh, you know, uh, you know, they always say, oh, you hate this person because they're gay or because they're a woman. No, we hate them because we are judging them by their character. Or we love them because we're judging them by their character. So they're trying to divide us by, you know, all these things when we should just unite as humans under things like liberty and the Constitution and just fight for that instead of infighting with each other about little petty issues like whether we're gay or not. I mean, it's fucking retarded. I'm all for gays, you know, getting equal. You know, it should, the government, as I said, you should not get benefits for being married. The government should get out of marriage. If you want to be gay, great. Be gay. I don't mind you being gay. I'm all for gays and straights being equal. All right? I, I view it like premarital sex. You can um, think it's morally wrong, but it sh should still be legal. All right, so I think it's retarded this gay, and they're like, "Oh, it's morally wrong," which I don't, I don't even fucking see how it's morally wrong or not, you know? Because in religion class, if you take a religion class, at least when I did, you'll learn that God, um, th there's four paths that God um, uh, makes you. Um, I don't know how to, I don't know how to um, explain it, but there's four paths. That God intends you to go through. It's either an ordained lifestyle, a religious lifestyle, um, a single lifestyle, or a married lifestyle. So I think that even if you are gay, um, it, like let's say you're gay and you don't have sex, like so I I don't know you know and I I I've said this but I think sins that affect other people are a lot more detrimental than sins that don't affect people and gay marriage it doesn't doesn't affect anybody so i don't even see it as that morally wrong i don't even really see it as morally wrong in my in my view you know so it, 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 and then they're like oh it's going to destroy the, the uh it's going to destroy society having gays no it's not because oh, let's say we we keep making gay marriage illegal or, or we keep favoring straights over gays gays are still going to be together all right they're not going to, you know, they're still going to be together. They're just not going to get married, all right? So it's not going to fucking matter. I'm sorry. I got off into all these, these other topics. But the main point is Valentine's Day is fucking retarded. It's fucking retarded, and it should not be recognized by people because it's just a useless holiday to, to make men go bankrupt. So there you go, people. There's my uh, rant on Valentine's Day.